Several months ago, I wrote a tutorial on how to get started with Darknet and YOLO. Uh, I want to do a quick video to show some of these steps, uh, and it'll highlight the uh, Dark Mark and Dark Help tools. So, here's the tutorial. Uh, the idea is to find uh, a couple of dozen or several dozen pictures of stop signs and build a neural net to recognize those stop signs. Uh, we're going to go through all of those steps really quickly. It doesn't take long. The entire thing um, from start to finish, including training if you have a GPU, is going to take you probably just a little bit over a half an hour. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is take a look at the uh, installation or build steps that are required for both, uh, well, Dark Mark, Dark Help, all of which um, starts with Darknet. So Darknet is installed on this particular computer. I installed it exactly the way that I describe here. You know what, let me move this window here. I'll move the command line window to the other side. So if I take a look at my Darknet folder, this is where I did the um, git clone. I edited my make file and then I ran make along with these additional commands because I need the library libdarknet.so. Uh, dark help requires that library so you have to build it this way. Uh, and if we take a look here, darknet, there you go. So darknet is there. From there what I did is uh, dark help and dark mark you can either build them yourself or you can download the dev file so if we go to my downloads uh, I did both just as a test I in Ubuntu 1804 I was able to follow the build steps that are described on this web page here and I was able to build both dark help and dark mark but now in this example uh, I simply downloaded them from, if you click on this download link here, you end up here, and here's the uh, Ubuntu 18.04 files for both Dark Help and Dark Mark. Dark Help is a C++ library. Dark Mark is the tool that is used to mark up images and build the Darknet configuration files. So why don't we go ahead and uh, do that. This is how you install it. So sudo dpackage. First we're gonna install this one. And then you install the next one and that's it. They are both installed. On your desktop, you should now have a, an icon, trust and launch for dark mark. And that's what it looks like. All right, so here is the launcher for Dark Mark. What we're going to do is, uh, from this particular tutorial page, there is a zip file, which I've already downloaded here as well. Let me just open that. And that simply has, uh, it has 38 images of stop signs. So it's quite simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So in dark mark, I'm going to say uh, add. And I create a folder called NN for all my neural networks. And then in here, I'm going to call it stop sign. Create. Okay. All right. The names file that is automatically generated has some examples in it of things that you might want to identify. I'm going to delete all these, bicycle, car, truck, person, and I'm going to say stop sign. That's the only thing I'm interested in for this particular pro project. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need is these images. So the stop sign images that are in the zip file, I'm simply going to extract them, put them over here. 
And there you go. There's 38 of them. We can close this folder now. I'm going to tell Darkmark to refresh now that I've copied in the images. And there you go. It found 38 images. There's the name file. There's no weight file yet. There's no darknet configuration file yet. That doesn't exist. We don't have a neural network yet. Uh, so when we load the project, it's going to complain that, here we go, there's no neural network. That's fine. Now we're going to go through all these images, and we're going to mark up all of the stop signs. Click and drag. There you go. That is the first one. Uh, use the either the left or right arrows or the page up, page down to move to the next one. And you've got to do this to with all of the images that are in the prop project. There's only 38 in this sample, in this tutorial. There's not a lot. It's not going to create a great neural network. Uh, if this was a real project and you had to detect stop signs, you would want hundreds, if not thousands, of images that you use to train, train with. So I'm not going to go through all 38 of them here in this video. I'm going to cheat. What I did is uh, I have a copy here of all the images that have already been marked up. And I'm just going to move that in. So cut from here. Go to my neural network. Paste here. Yes, merge. There you go. So now if I go back to here and I say refresh, all 38 images have been marked up. Okay, so once your images are marked up, this is what it looks like. Every stop sign should be identified as a stop sign like this. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to say that you made a mistake and you've identified something else as a stop sign, which in this particular example is hard to do because there's only one class. The class is a stop sign. In a project where you have multiple classes, sometimes you're gonna hit the wrong key and you might identify a car as a motorcycle or a person as a ball or depending on whatever the project is. Um, so when you think you've identified everything, what you're going to want to do, right mouse click, go to review marks. And there you go. It's going to come up with this particular window here. You can go through, there would be a tab at the top for every single class. Right now there's only one for the stop sign. And you can quickly make sure that everything's been identified correctly. And what we're going to do here, when we get to this particular image, we say, whoa, hold on, that's not a stop sign double click on it brings you to that particular image and uh, you can fix any mistakes you have in this case I'm just going to delete it gonna make sure that everything else looks okay and there's all 38 stop signs so we're good next thing we want to do now that we've uh, marked up our images is create the darknet configuration files there's a number of files that darknet uses and with dark mark you can create all of them at once very easy we're going to right mouse click and say create darknet files brings up this window and from here we can select which configuration to use as a template uh, i'm going to use the yolo version 4 tiny configuration as a template And the other thing I'm going to do here, we're going to change this to uh, 320 by 240. And you'll see that the 240 automatically gets changed to 256 because the image size has to be a multiple of thir 32. I'm going to change this to only 2000 iterations. I'm going to train with all images and I'm going to turn off flip because we don't want to we don't want to do the mirror image because it's got printed text that we want it to recognize. Uh, and that's it. So when I click on OK, it'll tell me that it has created 
all the configuration files and we're good to go. We now can train with this. So I'm gonna press escape to quit from Dark Mark. Brings me back to the launcher here. I'm gonna press escape again. Uh, quit from this window. Okay, so neural net stop sign. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, when it created the configuration files, it also created a script that you can run to do the training. It calls darknet. Let me just show what this does here. Right, what have we got? Uh, so this is the command, darknet detector. There's, there's a lot of parameters here and that's why it creates the script just to make it much, much easier. All right, so this particular computer, this is actually a VM that I'm on. So I don't have access to the GPU. And if I try to do the training uh, with just the CPU, it would take hours. And we're talking, it would probably take o over a day to train. If I do it on my computer that has a GPU, it'll take about 25 minutes. So just to show you what happens here, uh, stop sign train sh. And there we go, it has started. This is what I'm saying that would take hours or probably even over a day to train with just a CPU. I have another computer that has a GPU I copied the project files over to that particular computer and I've already run the training here. Let me go to stop signs. It took about 25 minutes to run, I believe. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cancel this particular training here. I'm gonna get the files from my computer that has the GPU. It shows me the chart, that's fine. And then I can run dark help, the command line version of dark help, uh, which will take that neural network, load it into memory, and then I can tell it, uh, these are the images I want you to work with, start on JPEG. And it's gonna show us the results of running that neural network. So let me minimize other windows here. You know what, I'm gonna leave this one up so we can see the results. Uh, so as I go through the images, you can see 100%, 79%, 100%, 68%. And that's just with 38 images and uh, max batches for, uh, for training was only set to 2000 iterations, which is the bare minimum that you can use um, Darknet doesn't even start saving the weight files until it reaches 1,000. So uh, 2,000 for one class, you can see, is okay. But I'm also running it against the exact same images, images that were used for both training and, val and validation. So it's not, not exactly a fair test. But as a first tutorial to get your first neural network up and ru running, these results aren't bad. So that's it. Everything is available basically from this page, the tutorial page. I have links to um, all the tools that I use and I have the exact commands that I use to build or install every single one. And then I have also some um, I have some information on running Darkmark, how to create your configuration files, how to do the training, and then I think I show what the results are as well. Yeah, and here's the exact same images that I used. Hope this was helpful.